Perhaps? Yep. And you can, oh, okay. You can actually get a really fine sense of the, the gap. Okay. Just by the friction. Yep. So, so you do that on each side so you can get the two. It's a little bit yep. tighter here because it's got the tape. Yep. And then you take it over the other side, yeah. Yeah. So when you actually, so you can do that before you start a print. Yeah. So then you don't have to do this whole leveling up as it's printing. Because so what we've been doing is just starting it printing, knowing it's not going to hit the bed. Yeah. And then... Um, like that. So we've just been starting it printing, knowing it's not going to hit the bed. And then um, and then adjusting it while it's printing. So we can do this, and we don't have to actually do any of that. Is that right? That's the idea. Cool. Awesome. That's so much better. Because then you can start a print and not actually have to hang around when, until the thing gets hot. You can just, oh, it's probably going to... Can yeah. you hold that one? This one? Yeah, because they're in um, parallel, they tend to turn Oh, they each do other. each other. Like that. Yep. So, hope what you're going for is the same friction on both sides. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just put these videos on the site as they are. <laughs> like that. Yep. And then you can also check the front. Because that sounds like now it's rather tight. Yep. Yeah, so these frame bits need to be adjusted. Yep. You got a 13 span? Yeah, it was just sitting around there somewhere. Um, there, right there. So this is how you actually adjust this type of bed? Yes. Yeah. You adjust the bottom to pull it back in. Yep. Yeah, I just kind of randomly tightened everything the other day, so I probably put it a bit out of whack, but yep. everything was just completely loose, so. Alright, so that's about a yep. similar kind of friction to what we were getting before. Let me just check over this corner. Yep. This one's a bit loose. So if it was the back ones that were like that, you would just do, do the, the back opposite, ones, yeah. Yep. Awesome. Quite still, actually. That sounds a bit worrying. I want to print some new one of these. The, uh, the foot? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit tight again. So as you can see, it only takes like a quarter turn of the spanner to actually change the yep. alignment. Which is, you know, fractions mm -hmm. of a millimetre. So that's pretty close. Cool. Let's check how we're going at the back here. These ones have come loose. Yeah, so that's just because you've been tightening that front one. That's it. Yeah, that's right. I guess this is all part of the... It's all part of the getting line. Getting it right, isn't it? Now, this might look fiddly, but the advantage is that with the old style beds, you'd have to do this every day. Yes. Right? With, with this new one where it's adjusted with the frame, mm -hmm. you do it once. You know, and then maybe you do it again when the frame comes loose, or you've put the thing mm -hmm. in a car or something like that. You know? It, it pretty much stays done. Yep. It's not something you need to do regularly. It definitely need to print new vertices.
thinking if we do flash firmware, we might switch the um, turn the X and the Y around. Yep. Just in the other direction. Just say it's turning the printer. Yeah, we could turn the printer too. I don't mind if that if that's if it is the wrong way around, then we might as well. Oh, just as a demonstration of the fact that it doesn't actually matter that much. Yeah. After you've done this a few times and you're sure it's right, mm -hmm. get out the Loctite. Yeah. So that's pretty good now. Cool, yeah, thanks, mate. Uh, just adjust that a little. Oh, it's broken. Probably doesn't help. Which one? The Z end stop holder. Oh, uh, this one? It's cracked. This one? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. So once you set that to the, the height of a single piece of paper, mm -hmm. you go into your um, thing here and you send G92Z0. Yep. So that tells the firmware that it's now zeroed. Yes. And now you should get a lovely first layer. Cool. Okay. So what should are we, we printing? Should we print that bangle again? It's currently loaded, I think. Yeah, load it again. It's the just order by date. Yeah. Uh, other one, other way. That one, Kira's bracelet. Right. Yeah, I don't normally look at that. I just hit it, and so normally the, the object best. the object should be show up on there normally, should it? Yes, it's. Yeah, maybe it's the should. version of quantum face we got. Perhaps. So let's go. Hey? Give it a go anyway. Yep. Yeah. So I set in my any file the. Is that the just home the Z? Uh, it's close. In my any file, I set the um, the temperature to be a bit higher to 190. I think it was. Yeah. Instead of one, you had it at 180 going to 165 on the second layer. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if that's worth changing that back to what you had it. No. Nah, well, if if you needed it at 190, then that's what you need. Yeah, well, I just wasn't sure. It was Every just a random thing that I picked. I thought, oh, maybe it needs to be hotter because I could see the way it was coming out. It was like dotting. Yeah, so that's and too. And I thought that looked felt like it was too cold. Yeah, it's either too cold or the hopped bolt not being quite up to scratch. Yeah, yeah. So that's not crunching it up enough for the extruder to be able to melt it. Is that right? Yeah. Um, basically, it doesn't have enough force to keep mm -hmm. the flow consistent. Mm -hmm. So if it doesn't have enough force, then either it's too cold or there's not enough grip. Yep. And both of those problems have the same symptom, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a good hopped bolt, then you should be able to chuck in a nice anyway. one and print it at a lower temperature. Cool. All right. Well, we've got our one in in the post, so yeah. hopefully we'll get over that. It seems kind of odd to have the, the fan going and the heater going and the <laughs> All that kind of thing. So Dave just put that fan on there the other day. I don't know. Yeah. Is that a good idea? Or? Oh, look, PLA, you need a fan. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it makes a huge difference, especially with bridging. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's kind of obvious on that one. These ones didn't bridge, but then that one was a bit more... Other side's the bridge. Yeah. So you don't get bridges like that without no. a fan. No. So... Not too it's high. It's too high. It's because it's homed during the start. 